Final leg. Now, we are back to talk about the World Indoor Championships. They're going to be kicking off this Friday, March 18th in Belgrade, Serbia. All right, and it was recently announced that Shawnee Miller-Webo from the Bahamas, who's a Tokyo Olympic champion at 400 meters, is gonna be competing in the indoor 400 meters here, right? Despite not her running any races throughout the entire 2022 season. Now, this puts her in a highly anticipated matchup against Femke Bull from the Netherlands, who has been dominating and is the world number one at 400 meters this year indoors. Both of these ladies have run extremely fast historically in the 400 meters, and they haven't lost indoors over the past couple years in their respective races. But there are a couple qualities that really separate the two of them and make this a huge head-to-head, -head, might be the top head-to-head -head of these World Indoor Championships. So considering things like their personal best and their dominance, and it really does beg the question, who's ultimately going to win? But can we see either of these ladies break the 50 second barrier indoors in the 400 meters? So looking at some of the stats and what they've actually done, Miller Weibo first off, she has a 400 personal best of 50.21 seconds indoors, which she ran last year at the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix. That makes her number eight all time in the 400 meters. Her 200 meter personal best is 22.40 seconds, which she also ran indoors last year, and that makes her number 10 indoors all time in the 200. Can't forget about her 300 meter personal best, which is 35.45 seconds, and that's the world record in the 300 meters. So she is stacked in terms of the times from 200 all the way up to 400. Femke Bowl, on the other hand, just this year, she ran a new 400 personal best of 50.30 seconds, which she just ran on February 25th this year. That makes her number 12 all time indoors, so not too far behind. Her 200 meter personal best though is only 23.37 seconds. So just about a second behind Shawna Miller Weibo, but she's been improving. So though she's not as fast, she's definitely making some progress. Now, like I said, Miller Weibo, Tokyo Olympic champion at 400 meters. She ran 48.36 seconds to get that gold medal, number six all time outdoors. Femke Bowl got the bronze medal in the 400 meter hurdles outdoors, of course, behind McLaughlin and Muhammad. She ran 52.03 seconds, makes her number three all time. So both these ladies are stacked in terms of the accolades, but they are pretty evenly matched when it comes to their indoor 400 meter personal best. I do think Miller Weibo, of course, speed wise, is a little bit faster just considering what she's done over 200. Now, this is gonna be a key factor, that speed there. Because in that indoor 400, as we know, the pole position at the break is a key factor and super important, right? Whoever leads at the break usually controls the pace of the race and almost to a certain degree can determine the outcome of the runners that are right behind them. Now, Bowl, she has been pretty conservative when it comes to her 400 meter runs. She usually hits the 200 meters at around 24 seconds or so and lets some of the other runners that she's run against go in front of her and take that lead at the break. But that's where she taps into her 400 meter hurdle strength. She is able to dominate that second half of the race and pull away with the win, which has led to some of her top times. But Miller Weibo, on the other hand, she is known for going out extremely fast. She runs about 23 seconds mid for all of her 400 meters. Not only her personal best run, but going back to her days in the NCAA when she was running at Georgia, she has been hitting 23 seconds for the first 200 meters consistently. So this is gonna play into the race. If Bowl holds back on that first 200, she may find herself out of the race against Miller Weibo, who is of course also able to finish very strong in the second half. But on the flip side, if Bowl goes out too fast, then she may not be able to tap into those reserves and maintain in the final 200 meters as she usually has been doing. Bowl does have an advantage though, considering she's been racing all season and she might have that sharpness and has been taking off those fast times against other ladies in competition. Now, Miller Weibo, she did plan to run at the Birmingham indoor meet, but she pulled out due to some setbacks in training, so possibly isn't in traditional race shape and who really knows exactly why she pulled out of the Birmingham meet. But honestly, I would say if she's choosing to run world indoors, I would assume injury is not the issue, right? She would have just skipped world indoors altogether and just gone outdoors like so many top athletes are doing. Now, in addition, Miller Weibo may not need to even be in race shape as we may think. Last year in the indoor season, she opened up with that 22.40 second personal best. She then followed that up with her 50.21 personal best. So she really proved that she can just hop onto the track and run fast when she needs to. 
So both ladies have some pros and cons, but a lot going for them when it comes to who will ultimately win the race at the World Indoors this weekend. But then we have to think about that sub 50 seconds and if that'll actually be possible as well. A bit of history, there's only three women who have actually broken 50 seconds indoors in the 400 meters. Now, Jamila Kotachvalova from the Czech Republic, her world record is 49.59 seconds. Natalia Nazrova from Russia, her personal best of 49.68. And then also Tatiana Kosimbova, she's also from the Czech Republic, 49.76 seconds. The most recent person to do it was Nazrova when she ran in 2006, 49.98 seconds. So it's been a full 18 years, almost two decades since we've seen someone run under 50 seconds indoors in the 400 meters. That proves this is no easy feat, right? This is not something you could just wake up and run for under 50 seconds. So this is gonna be tough. Miller Weibo, 50.21, Bull, 50.30. They're pretty evenly matched and What's notable is that both have pulled away from their competition in their respective races, right? Bull obviously has had some other ladies to chase considering she doesn't go out as fast in the first 200, but Miller Weibo essentially has run solo performances. I think with the two of them running together, they can push each other to some very fast times. Will, will sub 50 be possible? I'm not exactly sure, but again, this is a really, really tough barrier to break. Sub 50 is no joke. Now, there's a couple other factors that might come into play and might change the dynamics of this race. The heats and the semifinals, those are gonna be run on Friday, and then the actual finals are gonna come on Saturday. So we might see some fatigue come into play in the race for both these ladies. Also, of course, indoors, lane draw is a huge factor that's going to be important. If one of them gets the inside lanes, right, one, two, three, maybe even lane four, right, that could keep them out of contention. But I would say Miller Weibo, in 2014, she actually ran at the World Indoor Championships. She got a bronze medal in that race, and she ran out of lane one. Now, of course, she didn't win the race, but considering she ran out of lane one and managed to hold on for a bronze medal, that's a huge, huge factor there. Couple other things, right? Some of the other competitors in the race, this isn't a two woman race, right? There's other lanes that other women are gonna be running out of. Stephanie Ann McPherson from Jamaica, she got fourth place at the Tokyo Olympics last year, right? Just out of the medals. Uh, Justina Sweeter Iercertik from Poland, right? And a few other ladies, they're also gonna factor into the dynamics of this race. What if someone else chooses to go out super, super fast? What if someone else chooses to um, potentially make some move that impedes someone else? Never know what's gonna happen, especially in an indoor 400 meters and when we have that break. So there's definitely be some spoilers. They might just, you know, we might not even see Femke Bowl or Shauna Miller win the race. We might see someone else. Definitely gun ones to keep a lookout for. But what do I think? Well, in my opinion, honestly, the winner could be chosen by a flip of a coin. I really don't know who's actually gonna win this race. Remember, Miller Weibo hasn't run indoors all 2022. Femke Bowl has been ticking off those times, but Miller Weibo is super, super fast when it comes to the flat speed, right? Femke Bowl has that strong finishing strength from the 400 meter hurdles. But if I had to actually pick, I'd probably edge Shawna Miller Weibo really for two factors. One, because of that flat speed, right? She's known for going out fast and she's known for holding on strong. But also we saw last year, she doesn't need to be in race shape to really run some fast times. She ran that personal best in the 200 and 400 off of no races last year. So I think I'd probably edge it to Shawna Miller Weibo. But again, honestly, this is a flip of a coin. But will either of them break 50 seconds? That's another question here. I honestly don't think that'll actually happen. Remember, this is an extremely tough barrier to break, but I would love to be pleasantly surprised to see both these ladies go under that 50 second barrier. I would love to see it. But let me know what you think. Go in the comments below. Let me know if you think Shawna Miller Weibo or Femke Bowl or maybe even someone else is gonna win the World Indoor Championships. Also, let me know if you think someone is going to break 50 seconds in the indoor 400 meters, all right? Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.